Hey yo, what's going on guys? Back with another brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to be testing out Adobe Photoshop on Intel Iris XE graphics. So talking about my specs, I have Intel Iris XE graphics, of course, and I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. So if I go to my properties right now, so as you can see, I have a uh, uh, Intel Core i7 11th gen processor and I have installed RAM of 8 gigabytes. So, and I have a GPU Intel Iris XE graphics, which is integrated, of course. So I'm going to tell you how good or how bad it runs on Intel iris xe graphics so we'll talk about the performance bit later and i'm going to show you how much it affects my pc if i run adobe photoshop so let's pick ourselves an image which is i'm going to be using this one this this was basically my previous uh thumbnail that i created from uh, adobe photoshop and i'm going to show you uh how i created it or how like the how was the performance while i i was making it and everything so if i just click on it so as you can see it has loaded up right now and uh I can uh, you ca I can do a lot of stuff right here as you can see so as you can see right here so if I press ctrl T so I can just uh, adjust the image so as you can see uh, this is this is totally doable I can do it as uh, much as I want like it, it just lags a bit but it doesn't lag that much so if you can see any lag in the video it it's in the video itself it's not like I'm not seeing any lag in this at, at all so as you can see if I try brushes right now I can even brush here and there and as you can see so I'm gonna uh, get to the text stuff in a bit so as you can see brushes are smooth and everything you can choose everything any brush that you want any brush that you like as you can see from here and uh, this is this really depends upon you and not on me I'm, I'm just demonstrating you guys um, how good or how bad it runs so uh, if I go to the uh, image and adjustments bright brightness and contrast so I'm gonna show you how the brightness and contrast works so um, I'm just showing you how good it runs on Intel Iris XC graphics considering it a integrated GPU so uh, then I'm going uh, moving to the text stuff as you can see if I just uh, press T and uh, I have popped up a text bar and I can just write anything I want so if I just select it right here I'm going I'm just gonna write a steam profile because that was what it was so if I just hit enter and then if I click B so as you can see uh, this is the uh, this is this is some kind of lag in the text stuff but it's not that much I don't consider it lag because it still works so if I just go to these text settings and I can just um, drop a shadow uh, everything I want as you can see right here I can do any kind of stuff that I like basically so I can even do stroke and shadows and everything like it works still and if I just uh, uh, drag it right here and uh, make it even more lag here it still won't stop working so as you can see I have done so much of the layers it have started to lag a bit but it doesn't lag that much but it's still doable and it and it's still editable yeah it's, if you want to crop it crop the image or smaller the image is uh, or smaller the text or image that you like just control T so this is not a tutorial of Adobe Photoshop I'm just showing you how good good or how bad it runs so uh, I, of, of course I haven't shown you all the things but these are all the things that I uh, like to do in Adobe Photoshop like uh, using the brushes using the crop tool using the uh, text tool using the shadows and everything um, yeah and using the uh, like uh, making it smaller and uh, bigger so as you can see if I just zoom in zoom in is smooth zoom out is also smooth as you can see if I just press space and I can move it around and everything as you can see right here so if you're wondering if it's red why is it red because I have the um, foreground color uh, set to red so if I just do that and I can just uh, make it white so as you can see if I just zoom out it won't lag a bit but if I um, if I just uh, zoom in it, it will start to lag a bit but if I just zoom out as you can see it doesn't lag at all and it's sm super smooth and it's super I mean it, it is doable so talking about the um, uh, performance if I just minimize it and then then I just go to my task manager 
and then once I'm here I'll go to performance so as you can see uh, Photoshop is running in the background and uh, as you can see how much it is taking my CPUs so utilization is only 40 to 35 percent and uh, processor is uh, like as you can see uh, everything that you can see here is here so memory so as you can see <laughs> 97 percent of my memory is being used by Photoshop so I mean not all of it but if I just go to um, my uh, tasks as you can see how much uh, the memory it is using so as you can see it is using like uh, two gigabytes of RAM on the uh, OBS studio of course is using like half of uh, half of gigabyte and everything else it just so as you can see um, so if I go to the GPU it's only taking like 30 35 percent also and it's working still uh, fine so as you can see shared GPU memory is 1.4 right now uh, because uh, this won't take that much the for uh, a Premiere Pro actually takes uh, some of the uh, uh, memory as, as you can see the utilization is 30 percent and CPU is also good so uh, yeah that was the video and uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you're consider considering to buy a laptop with this graphics card, card integrated graphics card, if you like. So um, yeah, that was it. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below for more amazing content like this. And I'll see you hopefully. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.